Welcome to the Extension Network. My name is Brittany Lee and I'm the County Extension 4-H agent. And today I have with me Courtney Brissy. She's our new Agricultural and Natural Resources agent and she's new to our county. So Courtney, welcome to Extension. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am a triple dog. I got all three of my degrees from the University of Georgia. Go dogs. Um, and the agricultural department here in Cobb County is a little bit different than most other counties due to the urban setting. Um, so we work a lot with green industry, um, such as uh, nurseries and landscapers, but a lot of our clients are actually homeowners. So homeowners can contact us with issues they're having with their lawn, landscape plants, or trees on their property, and we can provide water testing, plant disease diagnostics, plant identification, and a whole list of other services to homeowners. Um, we deliver research-based solutions for homeowners and can also point you in the direction of certified professionals when you need them. We do a lot of education as well through programs for homeowners and landscapers. Um, and those include tree pruning, lawn care basics, pesticide certification, and really anything that the community needs. Wow, so I could learn a lot from you to help my yard and I bet all the citizens of Cobb County would definitely appreciate having you in the county. Well, today our show is going to focus a little bit more specifically on our 4-H plant sale. So this is our annual fundraiser and we are so excited to be gearing up for our plant sale for 4-H fundraising and also some A&R fundraising to help the agricultural department. But we are looking forward to our plant sale this year and the, all the proceeds from the plant sale actually go to help with 4-H programming for 4th through 12th grade youth across the county. Mm -hmm. So it's going to help us with our project achievement, which is our public speaking competition where we have kids from 4th grade all the way up until their senior year of high school giving a public speaking presentation on any topic of their choice. So that helps them get poster board and construction paper, helps the registration cost. Also summer camp, that's one of my absolute favorite things to do as a 4-H agent, is taking kids to summer camp. So the plant sale proceeds help us to offer scholarships for those kids who otherwise would not have the opportunity to go to camp. And it helps us with our judging teams, it helps us with program supplies, professional development so we can get some training. Also it's going to help out the A&R department and the Ag department um, with some of the programming that you all have. So we have quite a bit um, that this 4-H plant sale really helps us out with. So this year we are really looking forward to our theme. So last year the theme had to do with pollinators and since pollinators are so important we really wanted to stick to that theme and have that pollinator theme. But this year our theme is going to be a year of color in your yard with pollinators. So basically, how are you benefiting pollinators and helping pollinators in our community, but also keeping color in your yard year round? But before we get really into our plant sale, let's kind of talk about pollinators. Can you kind of tell everybody what are pollinators? How are they beneficial? You know, why would we have that as a part of our plant sale theme? Absolutely, so typically when you say pollinators, people think about bees, butterflies, but you also have some birds like hummingbirds that can actually do a lot of pollination for us. Um, pollination is basically when pollen grains go from one flower of a species to another flower of that same species and they therefore fertilize one another. And approximately a thousand plants that we use as food products in the U.S. are pollinated by pollinators. And it, uh, the revenue from pollination in the U.S. is $20 billion a year. Really? Yeah, so pollinators wow. are really important here in the U.S. Um, and, and by planting pollinator-friendly plants in your garden, you can help, uh, help us keep pollinator populations here in Cobb County growing um, and where they need to be. Excellent information. That's always helpful. We know pollinators are super important um, for our environment and to the success of our plants. So now that we know a little bit more about our pollinators, let's talk about how we can have color in our yards year round. So by using your 4-H plant sale plants. So first, let's talk about the month. So I know a lot of times in Georgia, it doesn't feel like we have four seasons. It feels like we have two seasons, either super hot or super cold, none of the in-between. But actually, when it comes to plants, there are the traditional four seasons. So before we jump right into what plants you can plant from the 4-H plant sale, depending on the months, 
let's break down what are the traditional months that we're going to be looking at when we're outlining our 4-H plants for adding color to your, your yard. Right, absolutely. Understanding what season we're talking about, what months we mean when we're referring to these plants, it's going to be really important for you to make sure that you're keeping that color year round. So typically people refer to seasons based on temperatures, but we're going to stick for, for simplicity's sake to things like the solstices um, and the equinoxes. So that means that winter is going to be from January to March, spring will be from April to June, summer will be from July to September, and fall is going to be October to De December as far as the plants for our 4 h sale go. Got it. So none of this two season thing we have here in Georgia? No, none of that. Awesome. <laughs> well, why don't we start with winter since, you know, that's the season that we're in right now. What are some plants from the 4-H plant sale that I can plant in the winter time that will also bring some color to my yard? Because it's kind of drab during the winter time. You're not used to seeing a lot of color, but there's got to be something out there that I can put in my yard. Right, absolutely. So we have quite a few plants that are evergreens as part of our plant sale, but there are actually some flowering plants as well that'll be flowering um, in that January to March range. So we have two varieties of Helleborus this year, the Candy Love and the Niger Jacob. And the Helleborus are great for shade gardens um, and they're prized for their abundant winter and early spring blooms. So they also have attractive deep green leaves and the Candy Love produces a light pink flower and the Niger Jacob has white flowers. Um, the leaves of the Candy Love Helleborus also get this um, red venation throughout the foliage in the spring, which kind of adds to their appeal going into the springtime. Um, we also have the Fragrant Tea Olive, um, which won't lose its leaves, leaves in the winter. And it's also exceptionally long blooming period, often for two months in the fall, and then you get some scattered blooms throughout the winter and even into the spring. Um, the Tea Olive is really known for its fragrance, um, and the variety that we've chosen for our plant cell is actually known as the most fragrant uh, species of Tea Olive. So That's great. They're really great to have next to an outdoor seating area or walkways where you're going to walk by and smell that fragrance. That is fantastic. I love the smell of Tea Olive. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. And I will say that I bought a Helleborus, I think it was two years ago at the 4-H plant sale. I have a lot of shade in my backyard, mm -hmm. and so when I was told, hey, if you have shade, this is for you. So I planted it, but it was in the spring when I planted it and I kept waiting and waiting. And it was funny, like come January, February, that's when that beautiful flower popped out. So I had all of this, you know, wintry look in my yard and then I had this beautiful flower from a Helleborus. So I definitely can't wait to purchase some more of that plant so I can add some color in the winter time in my yard. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move past winter. Let's get to my favorite season. My birthday is in this season, so I personally like it. It's not too hot, not too cold. Let's move into the spring. So what are some plants from the 4-H plant sale that can benefit the pollinators? We can add that pop of color, even though that's when things are starting to really grow in the yeah. spring. What are some really um, great plants that I can add that color in my yard from the spring? Yeah, there are a ton of flowering plants in the spring, so it's not too hard to find some. So I'm just gonna highlight a few from our, from our plant sale. But one that I wanna talk about, especially if you've got a shady yard like you do, is the June hostas. They can add a lot of interest to your garden. It's a lower um, lying plant in the garden, so you wanna put it up towards the front near the edges. But they um, have these beautiful leaves with blue gr green margins, and the centers become this golden color um, as the summer progresses. And they also produce a scape of bluish lavender flowers that can get up to 20 inches tall um, in the late summer. So it really kind of shows throughout spring and summertime with that June hosta. Um, but if you need something that, for a sunnier area, we do have the Mohawk viburnum and the oak leaf hydrangea, which both produce beautiful spring flowers and the leaves add some great color in the fall. So with the Mohawk viburnum, it produces a fragrant white flower cluster in the spring. And when the flowers fall off, it actually has some red berries that'll turn black late in the summertime. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And so um, the leaves also change color in the fall as well, turning to an orange and red color. So it, it, it kind of has that color all throughout spring, summer, and fall, which is really nice. Very good. Well, that's exciting. Well, I know for me, I love hydrangeas personally. I had hydrangeas at my wedding. They were beautiful. So I definitely um, will look into getting some of the hydrangeas to add to my yard. Hopefully they will work in a, a shady yard. Maybe we'll see. I'll have to check in with you on that once I purchase my plants to see. But now we're moving into the season that tends to last for us Georgians. It feels like the longest, right. which is summer. We know it's hot. It's summertime. Georgia, mm. it feels like it's always summer. 
but I love seeing all the beautiful pop of color that you can get in your yard in the summertime. So what 4-H plant cell plants are great for the summer. You're going to see those beautiful blooms during that time of year. Mm -hmm. Again, with the summer plants, we have plenty of options. It's, it's usually pretty easy to find some flowers in the summer. Um, but something I kind of wanted to highlight was actually one that doesn't flower. It's our Japanese painted fern. So it has some beautiful foliage that can actually add some really nice texture and color to your landscape in your yard. Um, the, the stems are a red wine color with a luminescent blue-green fronds. And then it's actually got a dark central rib that fades into a silvery color on the ridges. So it's an interesting look. It is really pretty um, and very interesting and unique. So it doesn't look like your traditional fern that you would think of. Absolutely. It's got a lot more color going on, so it's really nice. Um, and then if you need something for a sunnier spot, because that Japanese painted fern is better in a shady location, but for the sun, we have our black-eyed Susans, which are kind of a go-to for pollinators. They've got that bright yellow daisy-like flower with a dark center, um, and they're great if you want to be able to cut fresh flowers from your garden. That's a great look. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Nice choices. Yeah. So do we have anything, anything else for the summer? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's actually one other plant that I wanted to mention, which is the frost proof gardenia. So gardenias oh, are pretty yeah. popular. Um, but this one is actually great because it has the typical gardenia characteristics as far as it being a hedge plant with dark foliage and those large fragrant white flowers. Um, but this one actually is very tolerant to sun exposure, which is something Especially we need in here. Especially the summer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the flower buds, uh, frost proof, the name kind of gives it away, mm -hmm. but the flower buds are actually resistant to that late frost that we can sometimes get in the spring, so that right. won't ruin the flowers for you. That's good. Yeah. So I, obviously I need to get some Japanese painted fern, mm -hmm. need to get some gardenias, I need to get some black-eyed Susan. There you go. Got it. Very good. Nice choices. All right, so now we're getting into the fall. So we've right. done our winter, we've done our spring, we've done our summer. Now we're moving into that October to December range, which mm -hmm. is considered fall. Mm -hmm. So what would you say are some great plants that you would recommend from the 4-H plant sale for that fall time? Right, so for the fall, we've got two varieties of camellia this year, um, which I'm really excited about. You've got the Yuletide and the Pink Snow. So as the name suggests on that Yuletide, it is great for that holiday season that you'll be going to at that point because it has these really brilliant red um, blood centers with a, with a bright yellow stamens in the middle and dark green foliage. So you get that red, green, yellow color going on right in time for the holiday season, which is great. Um, there's also that pink snow camellia that has, of course, pink flowers on it. Um, and it has a hardy root system, which is really nice for those plants, especially with people who are dealing with the clay soil that we, we tend to have here in Georgia. Um, and then for the sunnier areas in your garden, we have three varieties of hutra this year, um, and which offers a wide variety of fall color and can be used to complement whatever colors that you're putting in your yard. That's okay. why we wanted to offer three kinds so that you could kind of match it with whatever kind of other stuff you've got going on in the garden. Um, so we've got the Amber Lady, which features a soft velvety amber leaf with silver marbling overlaying the top and a rose pink underside. Oh, a pink yeah. flower. I like that. Let's yeah. See. And then we've got the, the caramel, which uh, leaves, uh, the leaves emerge a bright golden color and then matures into this peachy orange color. So it's a really nice fall kind of color to have that time of year. Um, and then lastly, and maybe one of our most unique plants, is the black taffeta, which has a ruffled, glossy, jet black foliage at that time of the year. Um, so most of those, those are just the foliage that are going to give you color with the hutras in, the, in that uh, October to December range. Yeah. But they do get flowers in the summer. So again. Interesting. So I will have that foliage in the winter with, when well, you said, like a black or deep violet mm -hmm. or I can have the pink or I can have the golden brown mm -hmm. but then I'm still going to get flowers. Yep you'll still get flowers in the summer. That's awesome. I'll yeah. have to get some of those especially I think for me I would like the caramel personally. Even I love the pink, I love the black, I think that'd be great but just having that caramel, that golden brown will look beautiful during the fall. So that's oh, yeah. super super exciting. Yeah. Yep. So we've pretty much gone through the entire year with a few samples of what we can put in our yards as far as color is concerned. But one thing, Courtney, I have to say is I love to eat. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I like to cook, I like to eat, I like to try different things. 
and um, I've always loved that the 4-H plant sale offered edible plants as well. Mm -hmm. So what do we have this year for our patrons in Cobb County where they can get some edible plants and they can make something happen in the kitchen with it. Right, so we are bringing back the blueberries. You gotta have those blueberries. You have to. Um, and we're, we've got uh, several different varieties that produce uh, fruit either in the early, mid, or late season. So depending on when you want those blueberries to be ripening is how you need to choose which blueberry um, plant that you buy. And blueberries do require cross-pollination, which means you have to have at least two of the same variety planted together so that the pollinators can pollinate them for them to produce fruit. Got it, so if I just planted one blueberry, like I'm not gonna get any blueberries from that. Not from the ones that need cross-pollination, but we do have the pink lemonade variety this year, which is a self-pollinating blueberry bush. Interesting. So if you've gotta have just one, or you've mm -hmm. only got space for just one, you wanna stick with that self-pollinating one so that you don't have to worry about not getting fruit just because you only have one bush. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. And then we also have uh, quite a few herbs that we're selling this year, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, and I think the favorite one that I kind of wanted to highlight for this was the pineapple sage. So, so does it have a pineapple flavor? Not really so much a flavor, mm -hmm. but the smell. Oh. So it, it really does, you, you smell that pineapple scent throughout your garden, and it has these beautiful red flowers, and the flowers are also edible. So you can take the leaves and either dry them or use them fresh in teas, and then you can take the blossoms and actually put them in like a summer salad. So it's a great plant. Interesting, plan. very good. Well, I'm excited because we have not offered herbs in a while, yeah. and so these unique herbs will be a fantastic addition to the 4-H plant sale. Plus, I can use it to cook, and it can be like some extra spice that I can add to my salads and all of my different dishes that I love to cook. So I'm super excited about everything. Um, we have highlighted some fantastic plants from the 4-H plant sale, but obviously that's not all of the plants that we have. Um, one of the things that we have added to our 4-H plant sale brochure is color pictures so that everyone can see all these beautiful colors that we've been talking about, like the hookahs with the amber lady in the pink, and then we've got our pineapple sage to see what that actually looks like, and of course what our blueberries and things look like. So there will be that color add-in so that everybody can see what colors do I like so I can add that pop of color to my yard? Mm -hmm. But um, I know that, like we talked about my yard, I have shade plants, you know, I have no sun whatsoever except for down by my mailbox, I get this much sun. And I know other people have lots of sun in their yard. So are there other resources that our agricultural department can offer us to kind of help me figure out what's going to be best for my yard because what's best for my shady yard might not be best for someone who has maybe a mix or has a lot more sun in their yard. Right, so this year we're actually going to do something new. We're going to do a webinar series. So we're going to shoot a bunch of short video segments um, and they're going to focus on things like shady yards, partial shade yards, sunny yards, and we'll kind of show you which plants you can mix together to get that color throughout the year Very good. in specific areas of your yard. We're also going to see if we can get our fax agent to make us a couple of videos on how to actually use some of those edibles in the kitchen. Oh, I like that. Yep. So those are going to be available both on the county, Cobb County Extension website, as well as our Facebook page. So be looking out for those coming up in January. Very good. Well, I'm excited. I definitely will be tuning in to the webinars because that's something brand new. We used to offer classes, but it'll be nice to have that webinar where I can check that out at home and pause it and mm -hmm. make notes and, and things like that. So what a great resource. So now we've talked about our webinar, we've talked about some of the plants that we're highlighting that you can add color to your yard year round while benefiting pollinators, but how do you order? I know that's what you've been sitting here wondering the entire time. So ordering is super, super simple for the 4-H plant sale. Um, it is pre-order only, so you can't show up on plant sale pickup day and you know say, hey, I want some of the oak leaf hydrangeas. You do have to pre-order. And so we will be taking pre-orders from January 2nd, so that we're kicking off the new year, until March 22nd at the Cobb County Extension Office. So you'll have plenty of time to be able to go and pre-order your plants. And a couple ways that you can get the plant sale brochure. We do mailings to the local libraries. You can go to the local libraries or the local senior centers and get your plant sale brochure from there. You can stop by the Extension Office, and the Extension Office is located at 678 South Cobb Drive, Marietta, Georgia, 30060. Or you can visit our website. So we're talking about putting the webinars on our website, but you can also get your plant sale brochure on the website 
and that is www.ugaextension.org backslash Cobb. So those are some ways that you can get it, or we can even mail it to you. Call our office. We don't mind popping it in the mail for you so that you can um, order from the plant sale because remember this is a fundraiser for the 4-H program and the ag program so we can benefit the kids in local programming. So you can call our office at 770-528-4070 and we'll be happy to mail you your plant sale brochure. We can even email you. It is the digital age. We can help you out in any way that you want to support um, our 4-H program and our ag program. So as far as that pre-order, we said January 2nd to March 22nd. So that's your pre-order. When are your plants going to come in? That's really important. So save the date. So Saturday, April the 6th um, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Jim Miller Park. So we will bundle all of your plants together. We'll have the 4-H kids out there with wagons and they will help you take your plants to your car that you have pre-ordered. So that will be April the 6th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Jim Miller Park. So you have to save that date. We can't hold plants after that, um, but we will love to have you come pick up your plants. We also have master gardeners that come out mm -hmm. and they're able to answer any questions that you may have about some of the plants that you have. And again, all the proceeds from this plant sale are going to benefit 4-H scholarships, programming, helping with our public speaking competition, helping with ag programming, professional development. We have all kinds of things that we're doing to make the best better in our community um, with our youth and our citizens. So now I've talked to you about how you can pre-order your plants, but now you kind of have that wait time between mm -hmm. that January. So you order your plants in January because you're super excited. I know you are to order your plants, but what can you be doing to prepare your yard for once that April 6th date comes, you pick your plants up, you're ready to plant, but you probably need to do some pre-work too, don't you? Absolutely. So I'm glad you asked because it's one of the things I didn't mention in my intro, but we do offer soil sampling through the county extension office. Um, and it's a great way to know if you need to add lime or fertilizer to your garden before your new plants arrive. So your soil sample report will include recommendations and instructions for how to add nutrients that you need to your garden. And sampling ahead of time is always best so that you have time when you get your report to make any changes to the soil that you need to before those new plants go into the ground. Very good. Is that something that you know, is that year round? Is soil sampling year round? Oh yeah, it is year round and we recommend doing it annually, especially if you're doing any sort of fertilizing or um, management like that. That way that you actually know what you need to be doing. Very good. Is it free? It is not free. Okay. It's a $9 charge. Okay. That's not um, bad. But, but like I said, that goes up to UGA. The specialists look at it, analyze it, and it comes back with a full report of the nutrient contents of your soil and gives you directions on anything that you need to add. Excellent. Very good. Well, I will be doing a soil sample. Yep. I'll have my $9 ready. And then how far do I need to dig into the ground? Like, do I just take the top? Like, what would you recommend for that? So it's best to uh, take a shovel and actually move back some of that top, any organic matter, mulch, leaves, things like that, grass. You don't want any of that getting into your sample. And then you can just go about an inch underneath the surface. Okay. And it's good to take six to eight small samples from around your garden and then mix them all together in the bag. That way you're getting a good, um, demographic of the entire area versus just taking from one single spot. But there's directions for all that on the website. If you go to the Fantastic. Cobb County website, you can find instructions for how to take your soil sample. Very good. Excellent. This was great information. I'm really excited about the 2019 4-H plant sale. I think there's such a wide variety of plants. It's a great way to add color to your yard, but also to um, help the pollinators out and just help our local environment with that. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, you can go ahead and order your 4-H plants today. Um, so you've got that pre-order sale going from January 2nd to March 22nd. The order forms can be found on our website. That is www.ugaextension.org backslash Cobb. Call our office at 770-528-4070 and we will make sure that you get your 4-H plant sale order form today so that you can get started on planning your yard and how you can add that pop of color using your 4-H plant sale. So that's our show for today. Um, thank you so much for joining the Extension Network and we look forward to seeing you at um, local Extension Programming.
How long have we been married there? For 76 years. He was kind and generous to me before we married, and he was kind and generous to me all these years that we have been married. We had been looking at a lot of different houses in different places around that area. And when we came by this house, it was green. And I love green. I'm Irish. <laughs> and so I said, oh, there's our house. I know it. We decided on Meals on Wheels because at my age, I was getting to the point where I couldn't do all the things that I had been able to do. We're the Spans. America, let's do lunch. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org.